Hi everyone, it's Melissa Phillips. Welcome to today's Make It Monday. What we're going to do today is I went shopping at the greeting card aisle, heaven forbid, and found a card I loved and decided to recreate my own based on that design. So, after my little episode here, I challenge you to go find a greeting card you like and to create your own based on it. I thought the design was great, the colors, the glitter, the embossing, and so we're going to get busy recreating this card. My card base is made out of rustic cream cardstock and it measures seven and a half by five and a quarter. And I just folded that in half and rounded my corners. And then I've cut a piece of black card stock that measures five and a quarter by three and a quarter. And I don't know if you can see in the video or not, but I've embossed it with just some watermark um, ink and some clear embossing powder. And it's got a touch of gold glitter in it, but not too much. But I, I thought we would do that on this one. So... I used the Ben Bood stamp set and I have used the stars from it and I'm just going to kind of randomly stamp these stars kind of in a circular pattern around the outer perimeter of the cardstock. Okay, and here we are with the embossing done. Hard to tell, but it's there, and it really does add a lot to the card. So I'm just going to adhere it right here along the fold, and we'll leave a bit of the rustic cream cardstock showing on the other edge, just for some contrast. All right, our next step, I cut two spider webs using the spider web trio die and some smoky shadow bitty dot paper. And I cut a small web that will go right up here in the upper corner and a larger one that will go right here in the lower corner. Just to add a little bit of contrast and, and character. And when I'm adhering my embellishments, such as these, that are going to have a layer over the top of them, I don't often glue the entire thing down, just because it's going to be secured with another layer on top. Plus, I kind of like the way that the edges curl up a little bit and add, add more dimension. Like you can see on here, it just, it's touchable and has a little more character to it. Okay, so we've got our webs down and then I have cut a tag sail number four that I'm going to use at, in place of the circle and I've used winter wisteria leaf paper and then with my let's see limitless layers two and a half inch circle die I cut a circle for the center of our tag out of rustic cream cardstock, and that's going to provide our focal point. So the first thing I'll do is adhere this tag down. It's going to go right, right about here. And then we'll get stamping on the circle. Okay. So I'm going to use my Think Big Favorites number 19 um, to embellish this circle right here. And I've chosen to use the new Limeade Ice color. You're going to love that when you get it in your hands. Um, Simply Chartreuse though, if you've got that, would work perfectly as well. Those two are pretty similar and both fun Halloween colors, I think, when you combine them with purple. Okay, so let's get this stamp inked up. And 
and stamp the center of the circle. Perfect. Okay. Then, before I adhere it, I like to adhere it very last if I've got extra stamping to do. I'm going to stamp this little spider, and he is from the Tremendous Treats Halloween stamp set. Okay, I stamped him in two, kind of a two-step process, because I wanted to cut his little head out after I um, colored it with a Copic marker and used dimensional adhesive just so it stands out a little bit. And then we added a little witch's hat. So you need to stamp the spider twice. Once on your circle right here. Okay. And then a second time, I just stamped it on a scrap of rustic cream cardstock. And I dug out my Copics just for you. I often um, use them, but for today, I thought it would be fun to show you how I use them. Keep in mind, I have absolutely no training. I have just watched others and kind of learned on my own. So all I'm going to do is color his little head on this little scrap. And I'm just using a coordinating orange. This is apricot actually, and it works just perfectly. It's a perfect color for orange zest. I've decided a perfect match if you happen to have it. can't talk and color at the same time. I don't know if anyone else has that problem, but I'll do my best to entertain you while I'm coloring. Okay, then my two go-to colors when it comes to Copics are putty and warm gray. Just because they, they kind of age your image a little bit they blend the colors really well. I just really love how they make the images turn out. So with the putty, I'm just going to go around the edges of the area I just colored. And you can see how it just very, very lightly adds a distressed edge. And then I'm going to even go around the eyes, not worrying too much about getting in the white. And then, here comes warm gray. I love to think of warm gray as a fix-all because it just really does blend. Almost fixes your goof-ups. Okay, and now he's colored. So what I'll do is I will cut his little noggin out and I will adhere him to our original here. But before I do that, I need to color the body. And for the body, I used um, light grape, and it is a perfect color for the winter wisteria I found. You might hear all sorts of noises here today. It's a Saturday at my house, and that means my husband is busy cutting wood. Oh, cutting rail railroad ties because we're. Um, landscaping our front yard and using railroad ties. Anyway, we're kind of doing this all at once, so pardon the noises, but it's just part of life around here. Okay, next comes my two favorite once again. Um, oops, I like to do warm gray last, so let's start with putty. Putty allows you to draw outside the lines, and that's what I love about this color. I'm even going to do his little legs. So we want him to feel like he blends into the rest of them. Okay, and then warm gray on top. And it just 
just very, very delicately blends everything together. Love my Culpix. I really should have more though. Okay. Okay, so here's the spider's head cut out and I'm just going to use a pop dot on the back of that. Or a glue dot. Pop dot or glue dot and line it up just where it should be. And then I've gone ahead and cut the witch's hat out of the Ben Bood collection. That's where it came from. And it's going to need dimensional adhesive as well. So, another glue dot. And I like to tilt it a little bit. And your spider is now set to embellish your card. Glue that on the center of my tag. Let's see, I forget I put him on a little bit of an angle. There we go. Okay, so our next step, why don't we go ahead and tie a strip of our Limeade Ice Grow Green. Just need a little tiny strip of it because we're just going to tie it in a knot. Trim my end. Got to make sure they're even. Okay. And we'll go ahead and adhere that right up at the top of the tag. And we're almost done. Just the fun part is remaining. Okay, then um, I figured that this card needed a sentiment and I felt like it needed something up here at the top. So I went ahead and I used the Modern Alphabet lowercase and orange zest felt and just die cut the word boo. So we're going to adhere that and of course I can't leave well enough alone. I seem to need to keep adding and adding. So I'll show you what, what I did after that. I love these letters cut from felt. They just, I don't know, I think they take your creations to a whole another level because they add touchability, they add texture, and they add interest. Okay, so I added my summer sunrise buttons right here tied with black thread and then I stamped have a spectacular Halloween right here on the side vertically using orange zest ink and a sentiment from the Ben Bood stamp set. And all that's left is just to embellish with, with some bling. I use some gems from Doodlebug and I'm just going to place the smallest one right there in the center of the B. And then just kind of haphazardly down here in the corner just to kind of create some flow and some interest. And there you have it. We've recreated a card that I found in the greeting card aisle and I had so much fun. Um, I can't wait to try another one. I'm going to try this exact same design theme in different colors just using a different image right there because I think that they'd make some fun um, little card set for Halloween. Anyway, I have loved being here with you today. I hope you have a wonderful Monday and that you enjoy today's challenge. And we'll talk to you later. Thanks.